One new feature in Adobe Premiere Pro is the ability to add gradient and transparent color fills to your text in the Essential Graphics panel. So in order to do this, you can just grab your type tool from the toolbar, click on the program window, and you can type out whatever you want. So I'll write out city for this example, and then just highlight the text and open up the Essential Graphics panel on the right hand side. If you don't see this panel, just make sure you go to window and you can open it up. This is also making sure you're in the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro at the time of this video's release. So in this panel, you can adjust the size and the centering and spacing of everything as usual. But now under the fill appearance menu, if you check the fill, you can change it from solid to linear or radial gradients in this color picker. And when you're in these menus, there's a couple things you can do. So these two opacity stops at the top, you can adjust them from 100 to zero. And this is just like the, the gradient creator in Photoshop. So you can have multiple different stops at different opacity points. So you can make the middle of it transparent or the top and bottom certain colors, you know, maybe colors of a flag of a, of a nation or something. And you can change the actual color stoppers too. And not only can you do this, but you can actually also highlight individual letter by letter and just change the style or the color of those. So if you wanted the gradients or the colors to work differently or maybe change this one to a radial gradient. On top of doing that, you still have your other tools. So you still have your strokes and shadows. You just wanna make sure you just highlight whatever letters that you're trying to adjust. And you can still always adjust stuff about the font and the size and the spacing in the Essential Graphics panel. And now you have this text layer with the new gradient with transparent, linear, or radial options. And you can do whatever you want with it, animate it how you want, and add other effects onto it after this, as well as put it on different blending modes and things like that. And it'll still work with the new gradients. So this one new feature available in the latest update of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out plenty of more tutorials on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my latest videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.